Venus rising from the waves. Oh, hug him of a woman crawling from the bath more like. Did you sleep all right? I just got the dog to stop licking me face and then Bell started crunching a cornflakes. <laughs> Zach's taken her off to school. Mm. So, it's just you, me and a fish slice. Oh, give over. <laughs> You're a very handsome woman, you know that. Well, so were the girls that we were out with last night and half of them single. Yet you didn't manage a sniff of a date. Oh, maybe me heart isn't in it. <sighs> well, there's plenty more fish in the sea for an handsome bloke like Derek, isn't there, Zach? Of course there is. You reckon? Oh, I mean, I thought that when me and Nelly went down river, but uh, fate sent me my Lisa. You one lucky man. You tell him, love. How many eggs then, Derek? No, you leave them to me and go and make yourself look gorgeous. <laughs> well, that's going to take a while, hello. Mmm. Okay. You've wobbled a bit there. Yeah, thanks. Why do girls with so much makeup? Why do little boys ask so many questions? Pour me a coffee, will you? You'd look loads better without all that gunk. Yeah, well, I don't think so. In fact, you could do with a bit of guy liner. Um, no thanks. And how about a bit of blusher? Get lost. I will if you want. How comes you're uh, not at work? I've uh, been in, helping up and come back for coffee. Right, well, I've got a dash. I've got to take Will to school this morning. I don't start till next week. You two had a row? No. Whatever. You'll be one to your private talk then. As if he's not insecure enough already. Tell me about it. Diane wants me in early, so i better run. I'm a grown-up. I can take it. Take what? Rejection. Nick Hill, don't. You said I could take as long as I wanted. I know. It's not that I expected you to bite my hand off. I'm sorry. Sorry you don't want to marry me, or... Sorry you don't love me. It's complicated. All I want to do is look after you. I know. It's really sweet. But... We'll talk later. Ah, oh, I feel awful. I feel like my liver's going to explode. Oh, Chas, Jenny, sorry. I, I oh, was, you're a I long was... way off being as bad as my dad was. Mm, no ball lover boy here. Yeah? You talking to me? Yeah, you were going to run the booze last night. Got all her legs, B.A., Lisa. Yeah, we had a few when we got back to my place and all. A few... Drinks, Genesis. She's going to go to the toilet. Yeah, I felt exactly like Laurel last night when I was watching you two pouring all over each other. We hey. did no such thing. Yeah. Mm, is that what you told Zach? One more word and I'll throttle you. <laughs> well, feel free. Do a quick massacre and save me a fortune next time I tell you a lot out, which won't be any time soon unless you stop gabbing and start packing. Oh, message received. You're understood, boss. Mm. So, you and Derek went back to yours. I said one more word. Hey, you can't fight fate, Lisa. They could all see how much you wanted me. Oh, get away with you, you clown. <laughs> Feeling better? Not much, no. Yeah. Well, you always were a lightweight, weren't you? You know, you're not the only one with a sore head this morning. Only some of us sold you on. I needed to do some stuff at home. Oh, yeah? Amazing. Needed to get my head around what you were saying about her and me. About me smothering her. You know, a few home truths and you throw your toys out of the pram. You get so thin-skinned. <laughs> Trust me, if she'd said yes, I'd have been in here with her. A bottle of champagne and a Prince William grin on my face. You never. You prat. Why wouldn't I? I love her. She's amazing. The woman is flaky. She's had a tough time. She needs someone to look after her. Well, if you want to look after something, get a dog. You know, at least then you won't have to take it to a private clinic every time it has yet another nervous breakdown. That's not going to happen, not if she has me. Oh, yeah, that's what she told you, did she? If we get married... She'll feel safe. She'll put everything behind it. Fresh start. You know, at least you don't have to worry about arguing with the mother-in-law at the wedding. Oh, and you don't need to ask a dad for a hand in marriage. That is, unless you're planning on holding a seance. 
You think this is funny, do you? What's happened to her? No, I don't. You know, and I find it even less amusing that you feel like you have to shackle yourself to her for life to save her from herself. Well, when you meet the right woman, you'll understand. No, when I meet the right woman, I will know exactly what I'm getting into and why. And so will she when she signs the prenup. You will be having a prenup. What does it matter anyway? She didn't even give me an answer. Well, then you go back there and you tell her it were a one-off. You asked her and, well, she hardly bit your hand off, did she? And you won't be asking again. Well, I made her the offer. I'm not going to go back on it. Yeah, well, I would. And fast. Nikhil, <sighs> what ever possessed you? They told me to stop worrying and follow my heart. <laughs> You took advice from a woman who stalked a dead husband for 20 years. Oh, yeah. Um, Laurel's not so well. Yeah, just tell her to go on. No, it's a hygiene issue, as in a clean-up hygiene issue. It's <sighs> the last time I buy you a lot of any drinks. I'll go. No mini-me today. Ryan, you didn't answer my text. What text? What's up? Will, Nikhil, life. Um, why don't you make her a cup of tea? I'm gonna go and pick Sarah up. So what's up with Nikhil? He proposed to me last night. What, as in marriage? Yeah. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. before home time. Oh, pub for hair of the dog. Oh, no, that would really make me feel sick. Oh, I told you, she'd shove her form. What, and let you lock cover for me? I'm sorry, I'm doing this one for the team, girls. Oh, I'm going home the minute we finish here. We got room for three more. Three more what? Me, her and Katie. Only it's scary central at ours with that nutter ringing at weird o'clock. One every hour from two this morning. Katie had to be up at six and all. No, it's nothing to worry about. It's just probably, you know, some old perv. <laughs> Tell you what you should do. If he rings again, you should have a whistle by the phone and when he calls, blow oh, hard. Yeah. Ah, yeah. so if Derek turns up next week, deaf in one ear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I like to hear. Happy, smiley voices. Uh, the answer's no. I haven't even asked the question. That's your overtime face. No, this is the one I use every day. All right, well, it, it's just that sickly grin that gives you away. <laughs> sickly grin? You should know about that, shouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, maybe I do need a couple of volunteers. Urgent egg order. I need 800 boxes assembled by tomorrow afternoon. I've got some ironing to do. And I am hanging by a thread. Any more for any more? I'm offering time and a half. Oh, well, you know me if there's money involved. Thanks, Lisa. So, one more volunteer? Uh, I'll give you a hand if you don't mind showing me the ropes. Oh, they want to be alone. Is that OK with you, Lisa? Yeah, fine. Great. Well, that wasn't at all like squeezing blood out of a stone. <laughs> Talking about squeezing, you and Derek. Mm. Oh, I'm, I don't want to tell you again, right? All right, I'll shut up, shall yeah. I? Right, belt's on. Oh, oh. come on. If, if you can't give him an answer, then... But what is love, anyway? If you even have to ask that question, what are you doing thinking about getting married? I do know, though, don't I? And so do you. It doesn't feel with him the way it felt with you. You know how I feel. It, it doesn't mean that I don't love you. And you're happy to live with things like this? I already am. You did tell Will what I said about why we can't live together, didn't you? We're family. And why shouldn't we live like one? You still here? Yeah, sorry. No, it's fine. We were just picking some up. You know why. I told you yesterday. I could buy us a house. Oh. Somewhere no one would find us. Will needs us. And what about us? What about what we need? Each other. Nobody else will ever come close. Why does that have to be so wrong? Maisie, I've got a life. I can't believe we're even having this conversation, OK? It's not going to happen, ever. OK. OK. I had to ask for Will's sake. Look, if you don't want to marry him, fine, tell him. 
But don't use me as an excuse. For it. <laughs> it's all right. I won't be here all night. Just a couple of hours. Well, it's a couple more than I'd want to do. So no one fancies the pub then. Mm. I thought you were doing the ironing. Oh, you felt wrong. Stay to you this morning. I thought you'd all sworn off the hard stuff. Yeah, but once the hangover is passed and I've been sick, well, I feel great now. Mm. <laughs> Glad you do. I was the one with the mop. Right, have oh, fun, kid. Uh, right. There's the alarm code. Mm. Um, and you can drop the keys off at mine on your way home. Right, yeah. If I'm not in, just stick them through the letterbox. Right, I'll leave you to it. Oh, I meant to say, thanks very much for the meal and the drinks. It was smashing. Yeah, top night. Much appreciated. We aim to please. See ya. <sighs> right. Best make a start. What, on each other or the job? Do you ever give up? Not often, no. Three loaves, four spuds and a bag of carrots. It was hardly worth turning the till on today. Yeah, everyone's broke after Christmas. It'll pick up. Yeah, better add. And talking about picking up, come here, you. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me get that door locked. Mm -hmm. then, quick. <laughs> Swing for that lying piece of roadkill. Um, the close sign's on the door, isn't it? Does say close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fine, I'll just let you two get it on, shall I, while Jake's kidnapper walks free. You are. I goes to school and his teachers only let him go off with his dad. Yeah, his dad, not a stranger. Do you want me to give Justin a call, see what he's playing at? No, no, he's text me. He's taking Jake for pizza. But he's bringing him back. By bedtime, he reckons. Right, so he is out of order, but you have got to start trusting him. When he pulls something like this, I mean, he doesn't even like pizza. He's only doing it to prove a point. Well, if you'd have been at school on time to pick him up, maybe none of this would have happened. Not helpful, that. And if you sort out custody properly, he wouldn't have to do this, would he? Oh, thanks God almighty, I'd work that one out for myself. Don't resist that, then, could you? No. Look, Jake is fine and he's safe and you can sort her out later. For now, all I want to sort out is you. So... The burning question is, who has done what and to whom? But well, it has to have something to do with that Feldman boy. Right, Bella, Eric could tell me. Right, no, they're not the bag, that's 200 yet. So, where were you? Where were we when? When your landlord came to talk to you about security. Do I look like Sally Morgan, love? You've got our numbers, try using them. Katie has been nagging me all week that you need extra security. She said it was urgent. Yeah, it is. So, because there was no one in, I took the liberty of letting myself in. Eh? That's illegal. I didn't get very far. The place was a tip. Underwear everywhere. What is that in the bath? Oh, heavy night last night, wasn't it, girls? I'm, I'm really sorry. Yeah, well, the back door is secure enough now. I'll get some window locks fitted, but really, anything more complicated is going to have to wait until I don't need a hazard suit to enter the building. Wow. Uh, right, which part do we know? Same again when I get back? Mm. So, uh, what was it then in the bath? Pot noodle. Oh! Chilli beef. Oh! oh. I was drunk. <laughs> uh, Lisa told me to tell you that she's working late so Sam can get Belle's tea. She spends half her life there as it is. <laughs> uh, she'll be all right with Derek to keep company. Ah, she does right. We need all the extra cash we can get our hands on. Mm. <laughs> He's kind and good looking and he loves me to death. And Will needs a father figure. Some stability. What about you? I really like him. He's really nice. When bad things happen, sometimes it's too easy to cling to the first piece of driftwood that floats past. Is that what you think he is to me? I think you're no use to me in this state. OK. Well, if I bail out tonight, then I'll work tomorrow. I'll hold you to that. Maisie, I'd hate to see you sell yourself short. If all this 
there. Yeah. Those under there like that and there. Like that. Oh, yeah. Only another 798 to go, eh? Hmm. Can't believe you agreed to do this after the night we had. <laughs> Anything for another few hours of your company. What you like. It's not a good thing when I see it. Shame your old man doesn't. Zack, of course he does. Oh. Looked right through you last night. Like you were part of the furniture. Well, you've been married as long as we have. Edges of the doily rub off. You spend your days in this endless round of work, more work and sleep. <laughs> if anyone had told you when you were 18, eh? I'd have run screaming for the nearest convent. <laughs> All those years shut up without a fella, you never lasted. When you get to my age, you've worked it out. <laughs> Most men are more trouble than they're worth. But then you find one who isn't. <laughs> Don't exist. If I was to tell you, you're looking at one. I'd say you were still drunk from the night before. Tell you one thing. If it hadn't been for your Zack, it wouldn't have been just a kiss you got from me. Hey, something looks good. Look, I know you probably think I'm the biggest cow in the world, but... You but... don't have to spell it out. It's too much too soon. I realised as soon as I'd opened my mouth, I'd scared you to death. Do you fancy going out tonight? Maisie, you don't have to. Well, that's what people do when they get engaged, isn't it? You and me? <laughs> no, me and Jay. I'd love to marry you if, if the offer still stands. I never thought I'd... I didn't think... I love you. <laughs> Get a room. Well, you should probably be the first to know. Nicola and I are getting married. Oh. Well, I would have asked your permission. But you didn't. It's going to be the best thing for us. Uh, and he won't change anything. He'll look after us. Trust me. Congratulations, then. I can't, I can't believe you said yes. I can't believe you thought I wouldn't. <laughs> they joined at the hip, them two, and the only thing that could split them up would be third party. Then that's news to me. Oh, there's the anniversary of the plane crash, and then Michael Feldman turns up, mm -hmm. and Val starts asking questions. Well, we've all heard the rumours, haven't we, eh? About his late mum and Eric Pollard. <laughs> but from what I heard, they weren't exactly Cheryl and Ashley Cole. <laughs> you do know they're divorced? Yeah. Ah. Oh. That's my case. Here, Teclan. You know them windows, the locks? Couldn't chuck them Zach's way, could you? Chuck what, my way? Didn't know you were joining. Well, uh, more handyman. Hmm. They'll not rip you off, you know, like them fellas in free sheets. Do a good job, won't you, and you can do it tomorrow. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm your man. Well, I'm your man for any job, to be honest. Just so long as it's uh, cash. <clears throat> OK. Well, you can sort the paintwork out while you're there. Huh? Invoice me when you're done, and we'll take it from there, yeah? Hey. But be careful. You enter that house at your peril. Mm hmm. That's what I call a result. Hey. Mm. <laughs> what is wrong with them two? Why won't they talk to each other? Immovable force meets unstoppable object. That's why. And what's that mean? They're both pig headed. Then you wouldn't mind having a word. If it's about Eric, I wouldn't bother. Nothing much to do on the line, really, apart from gossip and think about new ways to torment Derek. <sighs> no press for a bloke, that factor. Mm hmm. I think we're doing his head in. We keep winding muff about fancying your Lisa. Hey. Oh, why wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Diane, can I have the same again for me and the girls, please? I suppose we should lay off him. One day we'll go too far and he'll start mourning about sexual harassment. From you lot? <laughs> In his dreams. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's 105 down. Oh, all this fiddling about is doing me in. My shoulders are killing me already. You look like a man who could do with a brew. Hey, you read me mind. Shall I give you a hand? Oh, no. You crack on. I want to see another five finish by the time I get back. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, so much for cracking on. Jay's going to expect them boxes finished by tomorrow morning. Thought of something much better to do. <laughs> Terrible you are. How long have we waited for this, eh? 800 egg boxes. <laughs> you and me, together, alone. Derek, you've had your fun hands to yourself. <laughs> it's me, Derek. You don't have to lie anymore. Derek. I know what you're thinking. Every time you look at me, I know you've been waiting for this for weeks. Get off. <laughs> you don't have to pretend anymore, love. Oh, last night, Sackham had been upstairs. No. He's have been on me like the shameless or see what. Don't, don't, this is fun and you're only way too far. <laughs> so. Hey. Well, now that's your conscience, will you? We can get back on with what we're here for. No, no please, I don't want this. Oh. This is me you're talking to. And I know you want this as much as I do. Please. No. 